Shake. Why is he not playing? Is Jake Campbell or?
Okay, guys, welcome to Kasafa Super League action here at the Constant Spring football field. It is Constant Spring Football Club. They're facing off against Real Mona. My name is Christopher Scott. Robert, I'm sorry. My name is Christopher Scott, and welcome to Island Sports Network on YouTube, Facebook, and or mobile app Island Sports Network and the website islandsports.net. So it is Barbican. They're facing off against Constant Spring. Barbican at the top of their zone. And the Constant Spring will be looking for their second win of the season. And just to read the lines for you now. First from Constant Spring, John Luke Wilmot, he's in goal. Then Jason Dennis, Tafari Rubble, Rashawn Martin, Ramon Brevitt, Javier Wilmot, Shamari Marsh, Rashawn McFarlane, Rowan Parker, Roman Blackwood, and Everton Ricketts and the coach Gregory Walters. And then for Barbican, we have Nicholas Campbell. He's in goal. Then we have Loxley Thompson, Maurice Wilson, Naeem Cameron, Hakeem Smith, Andrew Christie, Andrew McLeod, Ricardo Henry, Archive Blake, Andrew White, and Kemar Thomas. And then, of course, the coach Charlie Edwards. And the referees, the officials looking at their watch, making sure everything is okay. And it will be Constant Spring that kicks off through Rowan Parker to start this contest. As we see... The fans gathering here at the Content Spring football field to get ready. Double header action. This is the first of two. And just a show of companionship between the referee and Rowan Parker for Constant Spring. And just to make sure everything is okay. Checking his watch. And we're off and running here at the Constant Spring football field. It is Constant Spring. They're facing off against Barbican. Brevit sends that one across. And Martin's ball intercepted. Barbican now with possession. Boston forward. Wilson tried to latch on and he does once more. And it's Maurice Wilson of Barbican, an opportunity. And gobbled up by Tafari Rubble. But Barbican have it, however, once more. That ball sent across and Ron Parker will try to challenge. And the referee says it's a throw for Constant Spring. Last touch by Blake. So far, Rubble sends that ball forward, unable to find his teammate. And uh, it will be a throw for Barbican. So, Barbican looking to stretch their lead in zone A. And Constant Spring, as I said before, looking to get their second win of the season. Won't be the first positive result for Barbican for Constant Spring. But they'll be looking to ride that momentum. They've been having a couple of matches where they've really and truly gotten into the thick of things. And they'll be looking to do it again tonight. Maybe spoil the part of Barbican. Barbican will be looking to have a business as usual here. And Andrew White sends that one across for Archive Blake. Blake sends that ball forward. And uh, unable to place that ball forward. Man Smith. 
White sends that for Smith. Smith ball intercepted by Wilmot. Wilmot actually being called up for the under-17 Jamaica team. The man that played for St. Mary's College in the Manning Cup. And now being called for the under-17 Jamaica squad. So congratulations to him. He's here being featured tonight. Wilmot who scored a very brilliant goal from about 30 yards out. As we see Akai Blake on the ball challenged by Rowan Parker. That ball goes into touch and it will be a throw for Barbican. Ball thrown forward. Tried to find Christie, but headed on by Constant Spring. And it will be a throw for Barbican. Kai Blake to take the throw. He does. It's Loxley Thompson now. But that ball goes into touch. And... Uh, Constant Spring will reset. Trying to find Marsh and does. It's Shamari Marsh. Sends it back for Wilmot who sends that ball forward. And Kimar Thomas. He's being challenged now by Blackwood. Sends it across. Barbican still on the ball here. Possession. Andrew Christie sends that ball across for Kimar. Kimar Thomas now sends that ball forward. Collected by Ricketts. And Constant Spring now just loses it. And it's Hakeem Smith now for Barbican. Sends that ball across for Kimar Thomas. Thomas loves that ball for trying to find Maurice Wilson. But defensive effort there by Constant Spring. Barbican do have it, however. Smith over to White. White lays it off trying to find Andrew Christie. Covered up by Parker. Parker loves that ball forward. Trying to find Blackwood. And defensive work there by the goalkeeper. Nicholas Campbell sends that one into touch. And it will be a throw for Constant Spring. Constant Spring now in possession. Parker gets by one, gets by another. Unconventional, but it goes out. And it will be a corner for Constant Spring. Constant Spring with an early opportunity. Just over five minutes gone. And it's the first, go first corner, I should say, of the contest. An opportunity. For Constant Spring. Corner taken. Ball swung inside the 18-yard box. Headed out by Barbican. And just loses it. And Akeem Smith picks it up very, very well. And Akeem Smith is still. Sends that ball across for Akeem or Maurice Wilson. And he is caught offside. Could have gone a little bit further, Hakeem Smith. He was hounded by two defenders for Constant Spring. So, it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Take a quickly intercepted though by Barbican. Akeem Smith now on the ball and he takes a shot. That was a very, very poor shot in the end. And that goes behind. Constant Spring with the goal kick now. And uh, I was just wondering before the match started why they didn't start Tajay Dixon. A very exciting player, Tajay Dixon. 
As we see a battle for possession in just outside the center circle. Ball sent forward now. Finding Shamari Marsh. Marsh on the ball now. He's been tackled. He is. Loses it. Barbican now in possession. Andre White sends that one back. And that ball sent forward. Trying to find Akeem Smith intercepted by Wilmot. And a shot there by Brevet. Just over the bar. It will be a goal kick for Barbican. Barbican will have to be very, very careful. That ball sent forward by Andrew McLeod. Intercepted well by Wilmot. And left for Brevet and that shot just over the crossbar. And they can breathe a sigh of relief. Barbican. As I said, they would have to be very, very careful as we see McLeod now on the ball for Barbican. McLeod looking for a pass. Still looking. Sends that ball forward. Trying to find Maurice Wilson and does. Intercepted by Wilmot. And Wilma was fouled, the under-17 national call-up. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Everton Ricketts to take the kick, and it does find Tafari Rubble. Rubble sends that ball forward, trying to find his teammate Marsh. Wilma, though, on the ball for Barbican, or should I say Constant Spring. They do lose it, Constant Spring. Ball sent forward, and... Unable to find Maurice Wilson back to the goalkeeper, Wilmot. And that's John Luke Wilmot. Picked up now. Routine by the goalkeeper. And routine again by the goalkeeper to send that ball forward. Try to find Blackwood. Blackwood does challenge for the ball, but he's shielded. And it will be a throw for Barbican. Goes back to Constant Spring. A long throw trying to find Rowan Parker. Instead meets the head of a Barbican player and back to the goalkeeper Campbell. Campbell looking for a quick throw. And attempted to find his teammate. And hounded there. By Ricketts. Should I say Jason Dennis? Barbican in possession. Ball sent across. And now Andrew White on the ball for Barbican. Sends that ball forward. Barbican can now have an opportunity to score, but intercepted there. It's still Andrew White of Barbican. Sent across for Hakeem Smith. Hakeem Smith on the ball. Swings that one inside. Tries the acrobatic finish. And wide of the target. And it will be a goal kick for Constant Spring. So if they can breathe their sigh of relief now. And that little search forward ends in a goal kick for Constant Spring. Intercepted by Archive Blake. Wilson on the ball. Now it's with Ron Parker. Now Shamari Marsh. Marsh sends that ball forward trying to find Blackwood. Intercepted, however. Ball sent across to Kimar Thomas. Thomas sends it inside for Christy Christy now on the ball. Turns. Finds Hakeem Smith. Almost intercepted by Brevet. Now it's with White who sends that ball across for Kyle Blake. Blake on the ball. Sends it forward for Loxley Thompson. Challenged by Everton Ricketts. It's still Loxley Thompson. Shielding Everton Ricketts off the ball. It's still Loxley Thompson. Sends it back for Kyle Blake. Forward for Hakeem Smith. And Hakeem Smith can send that ball inside. And it's still Hakeem Smith. And it's now Andrew White. Andrew White with a shot. Oh, just over the bar. 
they kept possession just inside the 18 yard box and sent that ball outside. A shot there by Andrew White just goes over the bar and it will be a goal kick for Constant Spring. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, sorry, Sunday, this Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Throw for Barbican. Akive Blake now on the ball. Sends that ball back from McLeod. McLeod sends that one across for his teammate. It's now Hakeem Thomas who sends that ball forward for Maurice Wilson. Intercepted by Jason Dennis, but... Maurice Wilson reclaims possession. Sends that ball back. Who swings that one inside the 18 yard box? Collected by Jean Luc Wilmot. Ball sent forward for Rowan Parker. And now an opportunity was presented. Not the greatest of headers by McLeod. But they do regain possession. Barbican. That ball intercepted by Brevet. Sent across trying to find Marsh. Marsh will claim it once more. And it's Marsh now on the ball. Sends it across for Brevet. Brevet lobs that ball forward for Shamari Marsh. Marsh will try to cling on to that one. And defensive work there by McLeod. And it goes behind and it will be a goal kick for Barbican. So nitty stuff, nitty gritty stuff here at the Constant Spring football field. It's still nil-nil. Boston forward finding Loxley Thompson. He was challenged by Tafari Rubble, sends it back for Archive Blake. Blake will search forward and kept by Tafari Rubble, sends it for Akeem Smith, but his ball collected. And now it's still with Barbican Akeem. Thomas, Thomas sends that ball forward. It's not dealt with properly by Henry. And it goes into touch, and it will be a throw for Constant Spring. Don't forget, at 8.30, will be Malines United. They're facing off against Maxfield Park Football Club. That should be an exciting encounter as well. Marsh, a pretty little pass to Ron Parker, loses it. Liam Cameron, ball intercepted, but it's an offside call by Shamari Marsh. And it will be a free kick for Barbican. Andrew White tried to put that ball forward. Javier Wilmot. Ball intercepted. Barbican have possession now. It's been challenged by Wilmot. Collected by Marsh. Kyle Blake tries to get the ball from Marsh and does. Hakeem Smith sends that ball forward trying to find Loxley Thompson. And now it's with Everton Ricketts who sends it back for John Luke Wilmot. Wilmot loves that ball across for Everton Ricketts once more. Challenged by Loxley Thompson. Hakeem Smith now on the ball for Barbican but dealt with then by Tafari Rubble. And that ball goes into touch and it will be a throw for, for Barbican. Content Spring now. Brevet lays that ball back for Wilmot, who sends it forward for Shamari Marsh. Marsh sends that ball across for Tafari Rubble. Rubble on the ball now, sends it back for Brevet. Brevet to Marsh, to Rubble. Rubble on the ball now, intercepted but gathered by Brevet again. 
Shamari Marsh. Marsh turns, finds Rowan Parker. Parker searches forward. But the ball left him there. And collected by Nicholas Campbell. Rolled up quickly. Ball lobbed for Akeem Smith who heads that ball across for Loxley Thompson. Thompson latches on. And trying to find his teammate. And now there is a mix-up. And that's the first goal of the contest. Poor, poor defending and goalkeeping there. And that led to the first goal for Barbican in the first of the contest. And that ball scored by a former St. George's College player, Ricardo Henry. So, this is the man, Ricardo Henry, that puts Barbican ahead. So, it's Barbican 1, Constant Spring Neil here at the Constant Spring football field. And they will reset. And Ricardo Henry saw that there was a mix-up. Just collected by him and slotted home. Easy does it for him. And uh, now Constant Spring will have to chase. Turned around, intercepted, white. Kim Thomas now. Ball goes into touch and it will be a throw for Constant Spring. They will need to find an equalizer. Constant Spring. Boston forward now, finding Rowan Parker. Parker trying to get by McLeod. Ball swung inside the 18-yard box, headed on by Blake. Intercepted now. It is with Andrew Christie. Christie on the ball, twisting and turning, finding a Kyle Blake. Blake surges forward and finds Loxley Thompson. Thompson sends it back for Blake. Blake sends it across for Christie. Christie being challenged by Blackwood, sends it across for White. White sends it across for Thomas. It's further across. And ball sent forward, finding Maurice Wilson. Wilson on the ball. It's intercepted now by Jason Dennis. Dennis shields Wilson off the ball, sends it back. And that ball sent forward. And now it's with Brevitt. Brevitt sends it across, intercepted by Christie. Now it's with Akeem Smith. Smith searches forward for Barbican. He can find an, a teammate and does and finds Ricardo Henry. And what will be? It's not. Ricardo Henry unable to get his second goal of the contest. It's blocked and it goes behind and it will be a throw for Barbican. So Barbican settling into the game more, showing more composure. And that is the reason why they're ahead and why they're surging forward so quickly. Hakeem Smith, and his shot, it's blocked. And the referee says it's a corner for Barbican. Another opportunity. The first corner for Barbican of the contest. Just under 20. Five minutes to go in the first half. Ball swung inside the 18-yard box. Headed on. And now it's with Marsh who heads it across trying to find Rowan Parker. Intercepted by Barbican. Now it's with White. White's ball intercepted and it goes behind. And it will be a throw for Constant Spring. Thrown. Now it's with Parker. Parker using his speed to get by the player so quickly and so easily. And he stops on a dime. Tries to get by the player once more. And he does. Uses his speed very, very well. And will he swing that one inside? Oh, that was very close. Hits the post. And it's still an opportunity. But it left him. And it goes behind. And it will be a goal kick for Barbican. So Barbican, a very close call there. Almost conceding. Equalizer to Constant Spring. And I tell you, the use of Ron Parker's speed, very, very, very effective. That was very, very close. And as I said before, the use of speed by Ron Parker was very effective. Got by the player first and then stopped. Saw the player was searching forward and he got by the player again using his speed. A shot there by Blackwood intercepted and blocked. Brevitt. That ball sent forward and now Barbican can go forward intercepted by Rubble. Headed by Wilmot. Intercepted by Smith. Smith sends that ball across for Luxley Thompson. 
And that's a foul. Calls back the initial challenge. And it will be a free kick inside the center circle for Barbican. Ricardo Henry does latch on for Barbican. Still Ricardo Henry sends it across for Kimar Thomas. Thomas swings that one inside. It's blocked. And now it's with Christie. Christie. And that was a sliding challenge. And the referee says it's a throw for Barbican. So Barbican now in possession. Akeem Smith. That ball swung inside and headed out. But Barbican do have possession once more. Just giving the ball away, Constant Spring. But they do get it back. And that was a wayward pass there by Tafari Rubble. And gathered up. And it goes outside. And it will be a throw to Constant Spring. Taking quickly, Everton Ricketts sends up ball four, trying to find Shamari Marsh. Does, he turns, but runs into Andrew Christie, who sends it back for McLeod. McLeod sends that ball forward for Hakeem Smith. Smith, miscommunication between him and White. That ball sent forward there now for Blackwood, and he's caught offside. Caught, and it will be a free kick for Barbican. So, another suspicious attack going forward. And uh, the referee just telling the player that he can't be training his jersey, has to, has to put on a bib or train outside of the field and he goes outside but back to action now Henry should I say Kimar Thomas Thomas on the ball now sends it back for Akeem Smith Akeem Smith back to Thomas sending that ball for Christie and Thomas or Smith gets it back sends it forward trying to find Thomas and now they do get back the ball the ball swung inside and intercepted by Dennis Hit it on. Intercepted now by Brevet. And now it's with Christie. Christie on the ball now. Christie, ball across. And Cameron's ball intercepted. Now it's with Wilmot. Wilmot sends that ball forward, trying to find Blackwood. Headed on. Challenge in the air. Loxley turns. And he uses his speed, trying to get by to fire Rubble. And he does. Stays on his feet. But up steps Everton Rickett, who sends that ball across for Tafari Rubble. Rubble surges forward. Finds Brevet. Brevet no. Cross and finds Parker. Parker. His ball intercepted. And now it is with Ricardo Henry. His ball taken from him. Constant Spring with possession now. And ball sent forward trying to find Marsh. Headed on by Cameron. Now it's with Christie. Christie sends that ball forward for Akeem Smith. Akeem Smith instead tries to go for Luxley or Wilson. And instead meets into the defenders, but it's now with Christiana Shot collected by Wilmot. And the ball sent forward now. And that was a foul on Marsh committed by Cameron. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Almost 27 minutes gone. And Barbican still leading by a go to nil. Goal scored by Ricardo Henry. 
We see him on the ball now, who swings that ball across, trying to find Loxley Thompson, intercepted by Rubble. Rubble sends that ball across, and Parker will latch on, but he's unable to latch on properly, and it goes into touch, and it will be a throw for Barbican. Thomas on the ball now sends it back for Cameron Cameron turns finds Thomas once more Thomas finds Akeem Smith Smith challenged sends it across for Christie Christie looking for a pass finds Wilson Wilson sends that ball across for Blake Blake now it's with White White challenged sends it to Blake Blake now to Christie challenged by Blackwood Christie still on the ball. She's Blackwood and sends it back for McLeod. Christie. His ball intercepted now. Too much on it. Now it's with Parker of Constant Spring. Parker's cross blocked, but he still has it. And a ball swing inside. Collected by Campbell. And they can reset. Cameron Smith now oh beautiful skill to get past his opponent it's with Henry Henry sends that ball across intercepted by Mar Farquhar and that ball up forward for Blackwood Blackwood will try to chase and now it's with McLeod McLeod does his defensive work and it goes behind and it will be a throw for Constant Spring Just over 29 minutes gone. Constant Spring still trailing. And it's a handed ball. Bounced up on his hand awkwardly. Blackwood. But it's still a handed ball nonetheless. And it will be a free kick for Blackwood. Or should I say Barbican, I should say. And that was committed by Blackwood. And that ball sent for Christie. Intercepted. But it is with... Barbican once more sent across for the goalkeeper who sends it across for Cameron Naeem Cameron looking for a pass still Cameron sends it forward for Wilson who sends it across nicely for Kaim Thomas Kaim Thomas still looking for a pass and finds Hakeem Smith once more sends it across for Andrew White White surges forward and now Kai Blake would try to latch on once more. Safari Rubble sends that one into touch and it will be a throw for Barbican. Thirty and a half minutes gone in this contest. And you would think that Edwards, Charlie Edwards, the coach of Barbican, will co go in the happier of the two. As we see Smith on the ball trying to find Wilson. But they do still have possession. Kimar Thomas. To Loxley Thompson. Kimar Thomas tried to get the ball once more. But danger averted there by Constant Spring. Not entirely. Because it is a throw for Barbican. Constant Spring regains possession. And as we understand, it's a goal kick. Take it quickly. Parker. Parker comes all the way back to help for Constant Spring. Turning nicely is Blackwood, who sends that forward. Unable to find Marsh, but Marsh challenges McLeod. Still unable to get it back. Loxley Thompson sends that ball forward for Maurice Wilson. Wilson. Tries to just flick that one as across at four Christie. Goes into touch and it will be a throw. Taken quickly now. Wilmot tries to keep this one under control and does. Sends it across for Rubble. Rubble on the ball. Sends it forward for Mark Parkwar. Loses it. 
Kyle Blake, Ricardo Henry, Smith. Just passing it around. It's just Henry, Smith and Blake. And now McLeod joins the party, receives the ball and sends it across for Cameron. Cameron leaves it now for Kimar Thomas. Thomas looking for a pass and finds Andrew White. White sends it forward and unable to find Loxley Thompson. Straight to the boot of the goalkeeper, John Luke Wilmot, who sends it for Dennis. Brevet now to Parker. Parker sends it across for Rubble. Rubble sends it forward for Parker once more. Rowan Parker shielding Hakeem Smith off the ball. Now it's two players, Maurice Wilson and Hakeem Smith. But he shrugs off the players. And now it's with Loxley Thompson of Barbican. And now they can make use of this possession. And Hakeem Smith has it once more. He loses it a little bit, gains it again, and a shot. And Barbican still has possession, and they still can score another one. Ball swung it tight, headed on. And what a chance. It was him alone. And he had time to head that ball on target. Instead, heads it wide. And he still won in favor of Barbican. A shot there. Not dealt with entirely by John Luke Wilmot and Luxley Thompson got the ball again. And just settled, swung that one inside. Time and space there for Christie. Not sure as to why he didn't head that one on target, at least. And uh, defensive work there by John by Javier Wilmot. And goes into touch for throw to Barbican. Barbican with the throw through a Kai Blake. Sends that ball forward trying to find Christie. Headed out by Wilmot once more. It will be a throw. Barbican with possession. Ball sent across. Goes into touch once more. This time. It will be a throw for Constant Spring. Take it quickly. Wilmot almost loses it. It's being challenged by Christie. It's still Wilmot. Henry across for White. White back to Henry. Ricardo Henry back to White again. Loxley Thompson. Thompson sends it across for Akeem Smith and just couldn't. Control that one properly, but it's still with Barbican through. Andrew Christie. Christie loves that ball for trying to find Loxley Thompson intercepted. Now it's with Rowan Parker. Parker trying to find Marsh and does. But Marsh couldn't latch on to that one properly. Cameron will deal with this one and send it back for Nicholas Campbell, the goalkeeper. He laps it across. And finds Naeem Cameron once more. Challenged. But Stead sends it up for Kane Thomas. White to Thomas. And intercepted and tackled by Rowan Parker. Constant Spring with possession and a shot straight to the boot of the goalkeeper. Collected and rode to Akai Blake. Blake of Barbican sends it forward for Ricardo Henry. Has some time and space. Not challenged yet. And sends it back to the keeper. Who sends it forward for McLeod. McLeod sends it further forward for Christie. Who sends it across for Naeem Cameron. Christie turns Blake so many space to work with Fine Smith who sends it back for Blake Blake miscommunication between him and Hakeem Smith and they do a possession constant spring Parker sends that ball forward and Blackwood on the ball now has some time and space Sent inside but blocked. There's just one person inside. And Naeem Cameron does his defensive work. And it is a goal kick for Barbican. So he wins out in the end. Almost 37 minutes gone. Just over 8 minutes left in the first half. And a goalkeeping and defending error 
by Constant Spring led to the first goal. And that's why Barbican is leading by a goal to nil. That goal was scored by Ricardo Henry, a former St. George's College student as well. Played for the Manning Cup team. So we see a lot of past and present Manning Cup players playing. Wilmot plays for St. Mary's College. We see the likes from other teams such as Shaquille Bradford, Ronaldo Edwards, Jordan Petrikin. We see a ball sent inside, collected by the goalkeeper Campbell. Prince Daniel Smith, the goalkeeper for Boys Town. We see Shantamoy Taylor. So many schoolboy players that are playing in these leagues. Not only Kasafa, but Red Stripe Premier League that's also featured on Island Sports Network. And the playoffs are here. As we see Ricardo Henry on the ball for Barbican. And a shot by Christie. A wayward shot in the end. An opportunity. And just over the bar again. He was closer this time, Loxley Thompson. And just couldn't put it into the back of the net. And it could have been 2 0, but it's not. It's still one goal to nil. Rubble sends that ball forward, trying to find Marsh. He does find Marsh. Covered up by Cameron. Challenged by Marsh, however. And he does turn by both Marsh and Blackwood. And Barbican still has possession. Locks to Thompson getting by two constant spring killers. Couldn't get by the third. And they do have possession now. Rowan Parker sends it across for Brevet. Brevet on the ball. Trying to find Mar Farquhar. They do have possession again. Wilmot. Intercepted by Christie. Christie surges forward. And the ref says no foul. Constant spring. Ball sent forward now. And it is Javier Wilmot. What will he do? Sent inside but blocked. And there's a player still down. Andrew Christie. The referee says it's a goal kick for Barbican. He's up now. Will be a free kick for Constant Springs. A foul committed. Taking quickly, Loxley Thompson now on the ball. Still, Loxley Thompson sends it across for Christie. Christie stops the ball to stop the ball from just going outside. Tried to send it for Loxley Thompson once more. Intercepted. Constant Spring through Blackwood sends that ball for an intercepted by Cameron. Cameron shielding the Constant Spring play off the ball. Swing there. And now it's with Loxley Thompson of Barbican. Just outside the 18 yard box. Stops on a dime. And not the best pass in the end. P pass in the end for Kimar Thomas. And he goes into touch. And it will be a throw for Barbican. Could have made something of it. Maybe swinging that one inside the 18 yard box to try and find Henry or Wilson. Barbican, however, have possession. That ball was a wayward pass by Thomas. They do regain possession. Through Cameron, who sends it across for McLeod. McLeod sends it for Blake. White. Try to turn by Mar Farquhar. Finds Wilson, who sends it for Blake. Blake turns. Stops at a diamond. Finds Smith. Smith for White. Andrew White across for Blake. Blake forward for Henry. Henry turns. Finds White. It's forward for Henry. And it's still White. Intercepted there by Everton Ricketts. Now with Wilmot. Wilmot sends that ball forward. And now collected nicely. And that ball set forward now. And it's calling offside. Not committed. And they're just inching forward closer and closer. As we approach. The end of the first half, 42 minutes gone. And 
just couldn't time his run properly. Hakeem Smith. Turns and finds a Kyle Blake. Then finds White. White's ball intercepted by Ricketts. And Barbican now regained possession. Ball sent across for Ricardo Henry. Henry swung inside the 18 yard box. Not a bad ball, but too much for Loxley Thompson. They still have possession. Ball sent forward for Loxley Thompson who sends it forward. And that was very, very close again. Just over the bar. And an opportunity now. They should have buried that one. That's not a bad ball. From Loxley Thompson. And Maurice Wilson couldn't finish that one off. They still have possession. Barbican swings that one inside the 18 yard box. Headed on. Nobody there to claim the second. Or the rebound. Challenge now. There's a player down on the field. And that's from Constant Spring. He's just taken off the field momentarily. He's being attended to. It seems to be Everton Rickett of Constant Spring that's actually injured or shows some level of discomfort. As we see a drop ball, it will be a throw. White now on the ball for Barbican. Ball sent up and tried to find Akeem Smith and chested down well by Akeem Smith. Tries to get by by Farquhar and does and finds Ricardo Henry. Henry on the ball now. Loses it but regains it however. But ball set forward trying to find Smith and it's an offside call. Referee looking at his watch as we approach 45 minutes. And the referee indicates one minute for injuries and stoppages. One minute of injury time. And 15 seconds have gone. And that already white in the center circle and finds Christie, who sends it forward for Loxley Thompson. Thompson finds white. White twisting and turning finds Blake. Blake. Finds White once more. Boss and Ford headed on by Ricketts. No more Farquhar doesn't deal with that properly. Hakeem Smith, ball up the forward. Too much for Ricardo Henry. And it will be a throw for, Bar for Constant Spring as the referee looks at his watch once more. As we're approaching the minute. And that is the end of the first half. Goalkeeping and defensive error there by Constant Spring led to the first goal slotted home by Henry. Many opportunities created by both teams, but one converted their chance. So at the end of the first half, it is Barbican. They're leading by a goal to nil. We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. Sean Fraser, his shot blocked. 
McGee trying to stab it forward to his beat any battle. McGee with the effort, the keeper collects. Dario Stewart. Stewart does well. Tyreek McGee, Peter Lee Vassell. Just a little undercooked from McGee. Vassell wanted it a little bit more firm. You wouldn't have expected him to take the shot with his right foot. He was looking for the pass and it just didn't work out for him there in the end. Well, he doesn't get it. does really well to win it back. That good turn of pace because Roshane Sharp was trying to run by him. Good speed, good strength from Vassal. The good players always look to have time on the ball, i.e. Tariq McGee. Here's another one, Peter oh, Lee Vassal. Oh, yes. <laughs> Whether he picks it up, Harvey was in the way. The keeper will collect, or we try to. Doesn't really hold on to it, Sharp. Forced away from goal, Vassal puts it into touch. He made a meal of it. Players down for Port United, but Harbour Blue will continue. McGee lays down to Vassal. Vassal with a ball to Weatherly, couldn't quite get there. It was closer to the defender than it was to Weatherly. Vassal trying to play it off field, Fraser trying to go between a couple of defenders and was fouled, free kick. Vassal. Additional space again. McGee on his left foot. Was he tripped? He was. Free kick. Poor ball. Vassal now collects. Harbour View will try again. Poor ball from Peter Lee Vassal. Yeah, wanted Beckford to run, but Beckford wasn't running, so he shouldn't have passed the ball there. Could have taken it a bit further, Peter Lee Vassal. Disappointed with himself more than the fact that his teammate didn't give him the passing option he wanted. with his right foot he was looking for the pass and it just didn't work out for him there in the end well he doesn't get it oh. master does really well to win it back that good turn of pace because roshane sharp was trying to run by him good speed good strength from vassal the good players always look to have time on the ball i.e tariq mcgee here's another one Peter oh, Vassal. oh yes <laughs> Whether he picks it up, Harvey was in the way. The keeper will collect, or we try to. Doesn't really hold on to it. Sharp, forced away from goal. Vassal puts it into touch. He made a meal of it. Players down for Port United, but Harbour View will continue. McGee lays down to Vassal. Vassal with a ball to Weatherly, couldn't quite get there. Was closer to the defender than it was to Weatherly. Yeah. 
Vassal trying to play it up field. Fraser trying to go between a couple of defenders and was fouled. Free kick. Vassal. Additional space again. McGee on his left foot. Was he tripped? He was. Free kick. Poor ball. Vassal now collects. Harborview will try again. Poor ball from Peter Lee Vassal. Yeah, I wanted Beckford to run, but Beckford wasn't running, so he shouldn't have passed the ball there. Could have taken it a bit further, Peter Lee Vassal. Disappointed with himself more than the fact that his teammate didn't give him the passing option he wanted. To get position in those pockets. Referee says play on. Vassal beats one. Plays it out wide. Beckford in a little bit of space now. He's inside the box on his right foot. Looking for options. That wasn't one of them. It was too far away from Vassal. Was waiting right on the edge of the box. The opportunity here, but the poor pass uh, to Beckford that got some space on the left it was good work by Peter Lee Vassal before that. Vassal, what a ball that is! Tremendous, a thing of beauty. Mar Lewis touches it forward to Peter Lee Vassal. McDonald is there. But so too is the keeper. Didn't put himself in the best position to get the pass down because he was looking across at the assistant trying to ensure that he kept his run onside. Trying to keep the run onside and in doing so wasn't as alert to what Vassal wanted to do. Here's Vassal. McGee back to Vassal. Mar Lewis. Now it's with Vassal. Inside the box, Vassal! <laughs> really snatched at that Peter Lee Vassal. The ball didn't run smoothly for him, to be fair. Trying to get it out from his feet. Look at it. Stabbed across to him. The ball just really never settled for him. A wild slash in the end. That was a chance which was not taken as the stricken Russian Sharp walks to the near side to be replaced by Barnes, Hardy Barnes. So, pretty much firepower. By the young man Hardy. <laughs> Harborview goalkeeper. This is the throw from Osani Ricketts. One bounce, chest control, and bang! Opportunism at its best. Randy Smith. Pluvi only goes to fetch because he couldn't save. So here's the goal. That's the goal score, Randy Smith. It's a simple throw. One bounce onto his chest. He turns. Harvey gives him acres of space. And look at that. 
You couldn't make it up. Morris. Now the shot taken. Rondy Smith again. Well, he can do no wrong. With and we are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. And we're back here at the Constant Spring football field. Barricon, they're facing off against Constant Spring. And as you saw there, two substitutions were made. Ricardo Marsh and Kimani Bennett, they came on for McFarquhar and the one Blackwood. So Marsh and Bennett comes on for Blackwood and McFarquhar for Constant Spring. As you see the ball collected there by McLeod, not the best defensive clearance. Challenge now by Cameron. Christie just clips over the head of Brevitt, sends that ball forward, intercepted by Bennett, by Ricketts. And it goes into touch for a throw to Barbican. Blake now on the ball for Barbican. Sends that ball forward for Smith. White. His ball intercepted. 
And that was a foul. Silly challenge there by Andrew White on Rowan Park. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. So, Ricardo Henry strike is the difference maker here in this match. And uh, that's why it's still 1-0 in favor of Barbican. And a little skill there by the goalkeeper. Has to be careful. So he wouldn't want the same thing that happened to John Luke Wilmot happen to him. And it's headed out by Martin. And it will be a throw for Barbican. Coaching staff just not liking the decision by the referee, but it was clear as day in my opinion. And that's the reason why they got the throw. Locks it Thompson, sends it to Hakeem Smith. Hakeem Smith turns by Wilmot very well. It's the second time this match and a ball sent in and collected by John Luke Wilmot this time. That's the second time in this contest where Hakeem Smith has gotten by Javier Wilmot so easily. Not characteristics of John, uh, John Javier Wilmot and he does that twice but it is with constant spring turns and one Ricardo Marsh unable to latch on to that one Outside call by the referee. Andrew Christie now sends it back for McLeod. McLeod sends it across for Thomas. Thomas sends it forward for Loxy Thompson. And Maurice Wilson now tries the turn by Ricketts. And Ricketts, it's actually Jason Dennis that actually maybe pulled something there in his foot turning very well is Maurice Wilson and still hobbling on that leg is Jason Dennis still trying to walk it off Jason Dennis but the skipper walking very gingerly McLeod sends that ball forward intercepted by Parker challenge between Bennett White, Barbie can have it back, however. Christie turns, looking for a pass and finds Kimar Thomas. Thomas on the ball now, gets by Rowan Parker very well, and he surges forward, sends it for Loxley Thompson, who chips that ball forward, trying to find Hakeem Smith, intercepted by Wilmot. And it goes behind, where it goes into touch, and it will be a throw for Barbican. So Barbican seeming to pick up where. If he left off in the first half, as we see Javier Wilmot down on the floor for Constant Spring. Over five minutes gone in this encounter, or in the second half, I should say. So, just under, f just over 40 minutes left, or just under 40 minutes left in this contest. And just under 40 minutes left of the second half. Thomas to Thompson. Thomas still with the ball, tried to latch on. Thompson now challenged by Wilmot. 
And the referee says it's a foul and it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. I do see challenge there. Brevet heads that one forward. And now Ricardo Marsh will chase. Defensive work there by McLeod. Sends that one into touch and it will be a throw for Constant Spring. Carter Marsh has some pace on him. Will be able to use it to his advantage like Rohan Parker was done so well in terms of the use of his speed against the defenders, Rohan Parker of Constant Spring, but just unable to get a finished product. Barbican with possession now. Defensive work there by Wilmot. Ball intercepted. It's actually a foul. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Foul committed by Andrew White. And I'm not sure, but I think Javier Wilmot will try to go for goal and does. And it goes wide of the target. As we see... The man that we spoke about before the game started, Tajay Dixon, he's going to come onto the field. Such a flashy player, Tajay Wilson, but he's flashy and effective. And then, also it seems to be Paul Stewart that come, that's coming on for Barbican. So it's Tajay Dixon and Paul Stewart. And Hakeem Smith, it seems. Is it Akeem Smith? It's not. It is actually Maurice Wilson and Ricardo Henry, the man who scored. Barbican's only goal in this contest so far is coming off and Maurice Wilson. So Maurice Wilson comes off for Paul Stewart and Ricardo Henry, Ricardo Henry comes off for Tajay Dixon. Now it's Blake. He was brought down there by Ricardo Marsh. And it will be a free kick for Barbican. Headed on. Challenged. And another foul committed by Andrew White. Ball set forward, tried to find Ricardo Marsh. And does. He's being challenged by McLeod. Tries to get by McLeod. Finds Brevet. Brevet on the ball now. Sends it across. Trying to find Rowan Parker. Intercepted. Hakeem Smith. He was taken off the ball by Martin. Rashawn Martin. Tries to send it for Javier Wilmot. Tackles Tajay Dixon off the ball. But Tajay Dixon on the ball now. Sends it for White. White sends it back for Cameron. Naeem Cameron. Challenged by Bennett. Headed on by Rubble. Chested down now. Mix up in communication and another mix up in the communication, but ball set forward now for Loxy Thompson and spins. Not sure what that skill was, but tried to get by Rubble. Instead, it goes behind, it goes into touch, and it will be a throw for Barbican. Just over 55 minutes gone in this contest. Just under 35 minutes left for Constant Spring to at least grab a point. I mean, if they score now, then you can even think about them grabbing a winner. But they have to convert their chances to Jay Dixon now. And the ball swung it side. Oh, pushed on the bar by the goalkeeper. And now collected by Jean-Luc Wilmot. And to Jay Dixon making his presence note here today. Ball sent forward now for Ricardo Marsh. Marsh on the ball. Sends it across to Kimani Bennett. Bennett surges forward. It's still Kimani Bennett. He's being challenged by Thomas. Swung inside the 18 yard box. Dealt with by Nicholas Campbell. And it will be a corner. So from one close opportunity to another. And it results now in a corner 
for Constant Spring an opportunity for them to maybe get an equalizer and go on to maybe grab a winner here at the Constant Spring football field. Don't forget at 8.30, it is Maxfield Park Football Club. They're facing off against Malines United. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box and a shot there blocked. And now it is Peter Paul Stewart. Paul Stewart tries to push that ball past Everton Ricketts. And he just couldn't in the end. And that was a poor defense, poor goalkeeping effort there. And almost gave away the second goal like he gave away the first. What is going on with the goalkeeper today? Thomas Christie. Christie turns and finds Cameron. Cameron on the ball now. Sends it across for McLeod. McLeod looking for a pass and finding Thomas. Almost gobbled up there by Ricardo Marsh. But Barbican still have possession. That ball swung across there finding a guy Blake. A guy Blake now sends that ball up for Loxley Thompson. Challenged by Tafari Rubble. And he is fouled and it will be a free kick for Barbican. To Jay Dixon, who oh, turns very neatly. And he is fouled by Wilmot. And I told you about him. He's a very flashy and effective player with his skill. And that's the reason why the crowd loves him so much. And thinks he should start. He starts some, but we were a bit perplexed as to why he didn't start today's match. As we see... Man Andrew wide on the ball and a shot that was way wide, way over the target. Normally Martin Stewart or Martin Tyler would normally say if you put another goal on top of that one, he wouldn't score. As we see, he just collects the ball to Jay Dixon. You think that wouldn't anything wouldn't come of it, come of it, but instead the keeper had to push that one on the bar. And collect it. Ball swung inside now. And collected not entirely by Campbell. Now it is. And he's just trying to compose himself there. Ball sent up now for Loxley Thompson. Loxley Thompson will try to latch on and does. Waiting for his teammates. Sends it back for Christie. Christie looking for a pass. Intercepted there by Rashawn Martin and it goes into touch now. It does and it will be a throw for Barbican. To Jay Dixon, try to Lachon. He's being challenged. And in the end, collected by the goalkeeper, it will be a goal kick for Constant Spring because the ball went over the line. Tafari Rubble now. Sends it for Javier Wilmot. Wilmot finds Dennis. The skipper finds Martin. That ball intercepted. Now it's with Christie of Barbican. Sent forward for Tajay Dixon. And it's still Tajay Dixon. Flashy player is he. Decides to send it back for White. Who sends it across for Christie. Christie should see the run of his player or his teammate Blake and does. Ball swung it side and it's still not dealt with entirely. Barbican still an opportunity and it's still Hakeem Smith. Hakeem Smith of Barbican sent it back. And Barbican just, I believe, toying with Constant Spring. And uh, defensive work there by Javier Wilmot headed back by Cameron. Now it's with Christie. Christie. Ball sent for trying to find to Jay Dixon. They do have back the ball, however, through Hakeem Smith. Hakeem's taken off his ball, and Parker has it now for Constant Spring. Sent forward now for Kimani Bennett. Bennett leaves it for Marsh, who then sent it forward for Ricardo Marsh. Ricardo Marsh. It's still Ricardo Marsh, and brought down, and the referee says penalty. Penalty for Constant Spring. And it's a yellow card 
brandished for the man, Alanka McLeod. It's Andrew McLeod. And an opportunity for Constant Spring to draw this game level here at the Constant Spring football field. Down. And Ricardo Marsh actually did pretty well after receiving the ball from the other Marsh. That was Shamari Marsh. And who will step up to take this? Seems to be the under 17 Jamaica call up. And the man who played for St. Mary's College in the Manning Cup season, Javier Wilmot. He's going up against the goalkeeper, Nicholas Campbell. What will he do? The referee waiting and blows his whistle. Javier Wilmot steps up and dispatches. So it is the equalizer here. And it's the 63rd minute. So the score at this time, it's Constant Spring Football Club 1. Barbican 1. And it's game on with over 25 minutes left in this encounter. You think that someone can still gain a win and there may be a couple more goals in this contest. And I tell you, John Luke Wilmot must be punching the air right now and saying to himself that if he didn't make that goalkeeping mistake, would it still be now a goal to nil in favor of Constant Spring? White on the ball for Barbican. Just inside the center circle. Sends it across for Kimar Thomas. Thomas looking for a pass. Gets by Rowan Parker. And the referee says it's a foul. And it will be a free kick. Barbican surging forward. Loxley Thompson. Andrew White, Andrew White now substituted and coming on now is Husang. So Ramain Husang comes on for Barbican. Laxey Thompson sent forward now. Tried to find his second goal to Jay Dixon. And it's still to Jay Dixon. And ball sent inside. Oh, cross the face of goal. He has been on fire tonight. As we see another constant spring player down again. My oh my. Talk about a crowd and fan favorite. He's showing off his skills here today. Yeah. 
Here's the second goal of the contest as we wait. And as I said, the ball was initially for Tajay Dixon. He couldn't get it initially, but got it and laid it off for Loxley Thompson, who has been a very good crosser this evening, collected the ball, saw that there were a couple of players coming, and just finessed that ball straight into the back of the net. And very neatly done by Tajay Dixon. And Barbican just retakes the lead, and it didn't take long for Barbican to claim the lead once more. And that's the third goal of the contest. And I tell you, somebody could have gotten ahead either Barbican again or Constant Spring for the first time in its contest. And there's your answer. It's Barbican once more. Boston forward now, finding Tajay Dixon again. And Tajay Dixon just trying to get the Constant Spring play off the ball. It's a goal kick for Constant Spring. Constant Spring now in possession. They lose it. Luxley Thompson for Barbican. Chips that ball forward. Finding Paul Stewart. Stewart loses it. Rubble. That ball goes into touch and it will be a throw for Barbican as we see another substitution. And uh, Ronaldo Moore is going to come on. And Tafari Rubble. It's coming off for Constant Spring. Blake sends that one inside. Collected by Wilmot, the goalkeeper. Ball sent forward. And ball sent across to Smith. Smith chips that ball forward, tried to find Luxa Thompson. And will this be the second for Tajay Dixon? No, it's not. And Barbican just surging forward with effectiveness. With effect. And that's a foul on Loxy Thompson and it will be a free kick for Barbican. And remember I told you, Loxy Thompson has been a good cross of the ball this evening and he showed there once more. Headed the ball across for Tajay Dixon to... Place the ball into the back of the net board, but the defensive mindset of Constant Spring sprung into action. Free kick taken, headed out, and it will be another opportunity for Barbican to get their third of the contest, as it is a corner for them. 70 minutes have now gone and it's just under 20 minutes left in this contest. Barbican just Having about five or six players inside the 18 yard box. And just one outside. Patiently waiting. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box. Not a bad corner in the end, but it goes behind. Another corner once more. Opportunity again presented for Barbican. As it's another corner. Corner now, 
Ball swung inside the 18 yard box once more, headed by Tashe Dixon. Opportunity still, but defensive work there by Constant Spring. Relief, now Kimani Bennett. Constant Spring. And Shamari Marsh lobs that ball forward, trying to find Ricketts. And Constant Spring still with possession. Kimani Bennett now. Ricardo Marsh sends that ball across for Rowan Parker. Parker on the ball now. Sends it forward for Ricardo Marsh once more. Couldn't latch on to that one. And it goes behind and it will be a corner for Constant Spring. Just under 18 minutes left for Constant Spring to maybe grab a point. Opportunity now, ball swung inside the 18 yard box. Defensive effort or defensive work there by Barbican. They still have it. And it's blocked. And another corner. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box. Just over. And what will be the referee's decision? It's a goal kick for Barbican. So. It's a goal kick. Ball sent forward now. And it's a foul. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. think that maybe with a team that's been so dominant in their zone, Barbican, think that it would be done and dusted for done and dusted for them, but Constant Spring will have to show some fight if they want to get their second win of the season. And now it's with Paul Stewart, ball sent forward, trying to find Tajay Dixon. Intercepted now. But they do have back possession. Sent forward for tr for, for Laxley Thompson. Paul Stewart now sent it forward to Jay Dixon. And tried to fight Paul Stewart once more. Shamari Marsh on the ball. Sends it back. And trying to find Kimani Bennett. But Barbican regains possession and they lose it. It's a foul committed. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Take it quickly. And the shot, a goal, I'm not sure why he attempted that one. Should have looked for the, the pass to maybe get something forward to try and find an equalizer. But in the end, collected by the goalkeeper, Nicholas Campbell. Who sends that ball forward, meets the boot of Javier Wilmot. Collected by Parker. Parker chips that ball back for Rashawn Martin. Martin over to Parker. Parker goes around Kimar Thomas and tries to go around Christie. Instead, sends it back for Martin, who tried to chip that ball inside the 18 yard box. That was not the best pass in the end. That was very, very sloppy. And it goes behind. Goal kick take it quickly. Now it's with Kimar Thomas. Thomas looking for a pass. Trying to find Tajay Dixon, intercepted by Martin, but Tajay Dixon gets it back. Owen just gets by the player with ease. And it's still Tajay Dixon. What a flashy player. And it's still Tajay Dixon with the ball. But he is fouled, I think. 
Everton Dennis, ha Everton Ricketts having some words with the referee. And he's just warning him. He said, that's the second time I'm warning you. And based on my baseball analysis, three strikes and you're out. So I would think that if he does it a third time, then he would indeed card Everton Ricketts. And now, Concert Spring with an opportunity. And headed by the goalkeeper to Cameron, who sends it forward for Loxley Thompson. Thompson has some bit of time and space. And now, Concert Spring have possession once more. Boss and forward now. Looking for a pass and finds Ricketts. Ricketts turns, still turning. Finds Dennis. Dennis sends it forward for Ricketts, who sends it across for Wilmot. Wilmot just taking that one under control. 16-year-old sends it forward. Headed on by McLeod. And now it's Tajay Dixon. Tajay Dixon can go forward. Ball sent forward for Loxley Thompson. And an opportunity now. Defensive work there by Wilmot. He sends that one into touch, and it will be a throw for Barbican. And again... The keeper caught out after a pass by Tajay Wilson to Luxley Thompson. My oh my, what an effective player Tajay Dixon has been since coming on the field. As we approach 78 minutes on the clock, 12 minutes left in this contest for Constant Spring to salvage something. Christy, no Smith. Smith turns. Hounded by two players, miscommunication. And it will be a throw for Barbican. And the referee just warning now, Rashawn Martin. That you need to give the ball to the team that has the throw. To Jay Dixon, forward to Akeem Smith. Akeem Smith gets back the ball. And collected by Jean-Luc Wilmot. Thrown. Quickly for Ricketts. Ricketts sent it forward. Intercepted by Christie. Still Andrew Christie. And uh, that ball sends it to touch. Will be a throw. Taken quickly now. Javier Wilmot on the ball. Sends it forward. Headed on by Moore. Goes into touch and it will be a throw for, Con for Barbican. Kimar Thomas. We'll take this throw. Fines to Jay Dixon, but intercepted by Martin. And he goes into touch once more, this time further up the field for Barbican to throw. 79 and a half minutes gone in this contest. And we've had two more goals scored. Penalty converted by Wilmot and a goal scored by Tajay Dixon. And Barbican back into the lead. Brevet. Brevet receives the ball once more. Sends it across for Martin. Martin on the ball now. Sends it forward. Intercepted by Thomas. Now it's with Smith. Smith sends that ball across trying to find Tajay Dixon. But it's Tajay Dixon intercepted by Brevet. Ramon Brevet. His ball sent forward. Headed on. Collected now by Ricketts. Shamari Mar sent it back for Wilmot. Wilmot turns by Loxley Thompson. Finds Dennis. Dennis sends it across. And Rashawn Martin collects. Looking for a pass. Finds Ricketts. Couldn't latch on properly. And it's a foul. Not sure 100% why the referee called that one. But it is. Take it quickly now. Shamari Marsh on the ball. Sends it forward for Kimani Bennett. And Kimani Bennett just outside the 18 yard box. Stops on a dime. And it turns. Finds his teammate, Wilmot. Wilmot sends it across. And Ricketts is fouled. And it will be a free kick for Constant Spring. Just under nine minutes left. Take it quickly. And a shot by Wilmot, blocked by Husang. 
Collected by Wilmot, the goalkeeper, sends it forward for the skipper, Dennis. Dennis sends that ball forward, trying to find his teammates. Headed on by McLeod, not dealt with properly. There's still a jostle for possession. And Constant Spring wins it. And Martin just couldn't latch on to that one. And it will be a throw for Barbican. As that ball went into touch. So Barbican will stay atop the group. And uh, continue their search forward as we approach the playoffs in a couple weeks. In about two or three weeks, Brandon or so. We will try to get as much of the playoff matches for you here on Island Sports Network as we can. Just want to bring you some of the football playing here in Jamaica. Not just the Red Strap Premier League as we brought to you St. Catherine Major League, and we're bringing to you Kasafa Super League, and we bring to you the Red Strap Premier League as there was an offside call committed by Constant Spring, it will be a free kick for Barbican. So it's a goal kick for, or it's a free kick, I should say, for Barbican. And I'm guessing a goal here by Barbican would seal things in this matchup. As it's over 83 minutes gone in this contest, just over 83 minutes gone. Approaching 83 and a half minutes, which means it's Approaching six and a half minutes left in this contest. If my math is correct. So, will there be an equalizer? Or will Barbican continue their win and their dominance here in their zone for the Kasafa Super League? You have the Concert Spring football field. Goal scored by Ricardo Henry. And to Jay Dixon, the difference maker for Barbican. And a penalty converted by Javier Wilmot bought them the equalizer. But it wasn't for long. And here's the goal scorer to Jay Dixon of Barbican's second goal. Referee says no foul. And a concert spring can search forward, maybe find an equalizer. It's still concert spring. As we see Ricketts trying to latch on to that one for concert spring. He is fouled. And it will be a free kick. Take it quickly. Ball sent forward now. Ricardo Marsh looking for Rowan Parker and tries to find him, but collected by Campbell. Just collected by Campbell. Akeem Smith now on the ball. Sends it across for Ramin Husang. Husang trying to find Paul Stewart. Couldn't latch on properly. Now it's with Everton Ricketts. Ricketts sends that ball forward for Bennett. Bennett trying to turn by the defender. And now it's with Tajay Dixon who sends it forward for Stewart. Stewart turns and finds Christie. Christie looking for a pass. Sends it across. Finds Husang. Husang on the ball. Collected by Smith. Smith tries to get by Martin. Couldn't. And that ball sent forward now for Ron Parker. Parker latches on. Be challenged by Cameron. Using his speed very well. Collected by Campbell. And there's a player down on the field for Constant Spring. Seems to be his left foot. And it's actually Shamari Marsh. So, hopefully he's okay. He's being taken off the field momentarily. The 
Just over 86 minutes gone in this contest. Just under seven minutes left. Just under four minutes left, I should say. Husang turns, finds Christie. Christie finds Husang once more. Romain Husang sends it across for Thomas. Thomas on the ball now, just into enemy territory. And uh, he was trying to swing that one for Luxley Thompson, but didn't get the curve on it. So. Collected by John Luke Wilmot. They lose the ball once more. Barbican has the ball. Sets that ball forward for Luxley Thompson. Will he be the third goal scorer? And it is the third goal for Barbican. That was smashed in. And Luxley Thompson, since Tajay Dixon came on, he got some wonderful ball from him. Wonderful passes to Luxley Thompson. And all the time, Luxa Thompson would square that one inside the 18-yard box. But this time, he says, no, I'm going to take it on. And I'm going to be the third goal scorer for Barbican. And he is. So Barbican sealing things here at the Constant Spring Football Field. And they lead by three goals to one. They're now leading by two goals. And you would think that now they have sealed their three points here in match week nine of the Kasafa Super League. As we approach 89 minutes, just over 88 minutes gone. Ball set four, trying to find Ricardo Marsh. Taken by Andrew McLeod, now it's with the goal scorer, Luxe Thompson, who sends it across for Romain Kusang. Kusang across now for Christie. Christie sends it back for Cameron. Naeem Cameron. Sends it across for Thomas. Thomas, his ball intercepted by Kimani Bennett. Now it's with Parker, who chips that ball for Bennett. It's Ricketts now. Still Ricketts. And he is fouled. And it will be a free kick. And I'm not sure as to why Everton Ricketts pushed Andrew Christie. Just needed to calm things down no need for the hostility and the referee does his job and cards both Christie and Everton Ricketts so both in the book of the referee so it will be a free kick and an opportunity to peg one back just over 89 minutes gone in this contest and Barbican they lead by three goals to one Will this be the second goal for Constant Spring? Seems to be the man that scored the penalty for Constant Spring that will be taking this one. He walks away from the ball, it seems. And there's still a tussle going on between Bennett and he does get a second yellow and is sent off. So Everton Ricketts receives a second yellow and he is sent off. There was still a tussle between Ricketts and another player. And the referee was fed up and sent Everton Ricketts off. So, they will be playing the last two minutes or so with 10 men. Constant Spring. So, not the best, not the best ending for Constant Spring. So with 91 minutes approaching, Free kick now will be taken. And behind this is Javier Wilmot. And that ball collected by the goalkeeper. 
Nicholas Campbell. Referee looking at his watch. Thomas. Ball sent forward for Dixon. Oh, just gets by the player. And saw the player charging in Javier Wilmot. And just turns by him quickly. But it will be a throw ticket quickly. Ball sent forward by Dennis. Trying to find Marsh. Cameron. And that is the end of that. Goal scored by Ricardo Henry. Tajay Dixon and Luxley Thompson. Was the difference maker. Even though there was an equalizer with a penalty converted by Javier Wilmot. So at the end of 90 minutes, the second half is over. And Barbican emerge victors as they win by three goals to one. Stay tuned. Don't move a muscle in a couple minutes, about 10 minutes or so. It will be the second match of our doubleheader as Malines United face off against the Maxfield Park Football Club. And we are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. Please remember, if you're subscribed and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified that there's a second match coming. And click on our YouTube channel to see that it's on a separate event as we're going to end this match live here and start the other match as you can get ready for Malines United versus Maxfield Park Football Club.